Well, it is a new year, but we are still in the midst of this pandemic, and we're proud to be the only local TV station with a practicing doctor on staff, and she is back with us right now. We say Happy New Year to Dr. Malika Marshall. <laughs> and, Doctor, we have received Happy a new lot. Year. Happy New Year, right? It's only going to get better. We've received a lot of questions from our viewers, so we're going to start with one from Martha. She lives in Marlboro, and she writes, My husband and I are in our early 70s, fully vaccinated and boosted. We wear our masks while working out in the gym, but is it safe to continue to use the pool and do water aerobics, which helps with joint pain. Uh, Martha, I would say that if you're going to be indoors in close proximity with other people, I would not go without wearing a mask. And I'm not sure that you can swim in the pool and do water aerobics very effectively while wearing a mask. So until this Omicron cloud sort of passes us by, you might want to put your, your swimming on hold for at least a few weeks. Yeah, unfortunately. Linda is asking, doctor, does a patient develop an immunity after having COVID? Sure. So if you have tested positive for COVID, chances are that you have built some immunity up against the virus unless you're immunocompromised. But we don't know how long that immunity lasts and we don't know if it really protects you against future variants. So that's why it's still recommended that even if you've had COVID in the past, that you get vaccinated and get a booster when you're eligible. Doctor, another viewer has a question about masks and writes, we're starting to see new guidance on masks saying cloth may not be the best choice or that we should be double masked. What is acceptable? Well, you know, Omicron is so contagious that I really think that we do need to ditch those cloth masks. They're just too porous and allow too many things in. So instead, you're going to want to go for one of those three-ply medical masks that you see a lot of people walking around in. They're disposable. But I would say if you're going to be indoors in close proximity with other people or if you're at high risk, you might want to double up on that three-ply medical mask or choose to get an N95 or a KN95. They're much more available now than they were in the past, and they provide more layers, and they actually provide a tighter fit. Okay, and this final question today, doctor, comes from Kathy, who writes, I have recently heard of people getting rapid nasal swabs that turn out negative, but when they swab their throat, they're positive. Should we be swabbing our throats instead? Well, first of all, let me just remind you that those long nasal swabs that go to the back of the nose, those are really the most reliable PCR tests. Throat PCR tests are an acceptable alternative, although they may not be as sensitive. Now, the rapid tests often use those short little cotton swabs that you use right on the inside of your nose, but they're less reliable than PCR tests. So it may be that the people you're hearing about have done rapid tests that aren't the most sensitive and then have followed it up with a throat PCR swab that's able to detect virus sooner than a rapid test would, would pick it up. So many tests right now. Dr. Malika, thank you so much. I know. Dr. Malika You're offers welcome. her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health. And if you have a question for Dr. Malika, you can reach her one of three ways. Email drmalika at cbs.com, on Twitter at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her, Dr. Malika Marshall.